Hello, this big thing you see right there is a roller, and it's in fact the largest one on a stock map, the Mega Roll. Uh, and we're going to talk today real quick about rolling, whether you should roll your field, when to do it, and whether it's economically feasible based on which roller you're using and tractor and uh, what crop you're planting. So don't go anywhere. Uh, this is Farmer Teacher. We're on Farming Simulator 22. And let me show you real quick on the menu. If you look at the menu here, go under rollers. There's two types you can get uh, on the standard map. The one on the left is 41,000. You need 160 horsepower to pull that, 12.3 meters wide. The one on the right is 140,500, but you need 350 horsepower to pull that, but it's 24.3 meters wide. So it's about double. Uh, I'm just going to jump in here and get this guy rolling, <laughs> literally. Somebody said I should do this the same time I do weeds, and I just didn't think that was appropriate. <laughs> All right, so you unfold this guy. This is a smaller one. This is a smaller roller, and we're going to get him going here. And he is off and rolling. So we'll be right back. We're going to test the small one and the big one, and we'll be right back here with the results. Don't go anywhere. And something I forgot to mention real quick, you're gonna roll right after you seed or plant. You're gonna roll right after you seed or plant, and if you go to the menu right here where you see fertilization, you can see the light blue there means it needs rolling. It needs rolling. So you can see uh, where we've uh, rolled already is a dark blue, and the rest of it's still light blue, so it still needs rolling. That's what I wanna show you. We'll be right back here in a second. Okay, the roller you see there is a small roller. It's the small roller, and we tested that first. Uh, even though you buy it, it's not free to use because you have, we spent uh, for this field $12 for fuel, $293 for wage payment, $28 for maintenance for the tractor and the roller. This is a small 170 horsepower tractor that you might have on a lot of farms. Okay, and that works out to uh, per acre of $73 an acre. So it costs you to roll this field $73 an acre. Now, when you roll the field, you gain 2.5% bonus, 2.5%. Well, if you're planting the least profitable crop, unless it's going in production, the least profitable crop, I think, is corn. And 2.5% of that is about $73. So what that means is using this small roller, uh, maybe not on corn, but anything else, you're going to get a little bit of a profit back from rolling it. You're going to break even on corn and anything else, especially if you're putting it in production, you'll have a little small profit there. Uh, but the best way, the best way, once you get there, it's more economical to use a large roller. Okay, this is the large roller you see unfolding there, the mega roll and it's big it is because it's bigger and it costs more to get it but it is more efficient than the smaller one uh, the biggest part is you're saving a lot in labor costs because it does it quicker so what we found is remember the, the small one was about 73 an acre 73 dollars an acre this one worked out to 41 an acre so you're saving 32 dollars an acre by using uh, the larger roller so if you can afford to do that you're definitely into the profit uh, you get a 2.5% bonus, 2.5% bonus by using, by rolling the field. So with a small roller, that $73 an acre is about 2.5% of what you get for corn, which is probably the least profitable crop. Okay, so if you're doing anything besides corn, you're going to have a little small profit there. And as it gets more and more productive, or if you put it into production, you're going to be making more money by rolling the field so it's not a bad thing to do also if you roll the field and it has tiny rocks in it if you have stones turned on uh, you can roll the field and not pick those up now once it gets the next level up from stones if it's not the lightest color of stones you don't want to do that because it messes up your uh, equipment so but that is an option too so uh, just to recap this was 41 for the large roller 73 for the small roller so the large roller is you know is necessarily worth it okay and the small one might be based on what you're planning so you get a little small profit there uh, and
and that's it in a nutshell. So you want to roll right after you plant or seed. And if you plant anything but corn, you're going to come out a little bit ahead. You get two and a half percent bonus. So that's it. So give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.